We ran very recently a, a, a crisis scenario for the IR think tank. We did this with about 50 leading IROs from a range of companies. And the reason why this is, of course, particularly important is because increasingly investors, in our experience, really take note of what companies do or don't provide in terms of their dealing with risk. Investors have, have had their fingers burnt so many times, they now take far more interest in terms of looking at how companies in which they might want to invest actually prepare for risk. And crisis management is a key part of that. So what we did was we, we, we put forward a scenario which uh, in, in broad terms was to do with a, a hypothetical biomed research company which had uh, uh, perfected in trials, or they thought they perfected, um, uh, a, a system for addressing burns which was revolutionary. And, um, and in fact all this was uh, actually vested in, in reality, so a hypothetical situation but, but drawn from real facts and occurrences, set in Eastern Europe, set in Bulgaria. And essentially what we did over the course of the one hour was to take that scenario and develop it in three stages. So initially it was, it was arguable whether or not the company concerned was facing a crisis, uh, but boy, by the end it certainly was, and, and we're talking about a multitude of different things. And what was particularly important in terms of the scenario play, and, why, and one reason why it was particularly valuable, was because we had on the panel um, uh, a fund manager, we had uh, an investor relations expert, we had a lawyer, and I myself was there from the, 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 the broader based aspects of the principles of dealing with crisis, both operationally and reputationally. And uh, what was completely fascinating was, uh, and really important was to see the reactions of people around the room uh, to the crisis as it unfolded. And, and, and uh, cutting back to real life, my experience uh, is when dealing with a company, uh, it's extremely interesting to see you take people with similar experiences around the table and they will initially um, potentially have quite different reactions uh, even to whether something qualifies as a crisis in the first place. So one of the very, very basic things we do in helping, in helping companies uh, to prepare for dealing with crisis uh, is to make sure uh, ab initio they actually understand what a crisis is. If they don't understand what the crisis is or potential crisis is, then they're certainly not going to react in time. And timeliness is, timeliness is absolutely everything. And I think um, in, in broad terms, what I'd like to say in terms of the conclusion of the, of, of the whole event was uh, I think in everybody's minds present, it absolutely uh, emphasized uh, the need for companies uh, to think and prepare in terms of, if you like, what ifing uh, for what could go wrong. Because even that sort of mental action of, 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 of spending some time looking at uh, possible things which could go wrong helps companies to be much more on the front foot, which is really at the end of the day what it's all about, if they're going to survive and thrive.